I'm gonna be honest, this wasn't something that was planned. I obviously, I already painted everything. I did the epoxy floors. I kind of did this out of order. I didn't plan on having a bathroom or a sink, but the more and more that I thought about it, I'm like, it's gonna be really annoying to be working here and have to run in the house or uh, you know run somewhere to use the restroom and not having running water in here. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be okay, but you gotta have running water in a working garage. So, so I just went and got all the material um, and I kind of just laid out where I'm gonna have the bathroom right here. I have the slop sink and the toilet's gonna be as far over in the corner. I'm just gonna try to just maybe frame this in kind of really as small as I can. And then there's not gonna be a sink inside the actual bathroom, um, but we're gonna have the slop sink uh, right outside to, to the left of it. So what's kind of nice is this is the back corner of the garage and um, where I'm gonna be tying into the main house, which is right here. Um, the sewer line is actually in this corner of the house. So that's pretty convenient because what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna grab my excavator and we're gonna dig from this corner all the way to here. And luckily I already measured, we do have pitch. So we're not gonna have to put a grinder pump or anything in here. We're just gonna put the toilet in the corner, knock the block out, dig, and go right to the corner of that house. Um, also, we're gonna be running the water line from that same corner in here, straight up to the slop sink. I've already got a bunch of materials. This is gonna be to frame the bathroom in. Uh, got some pipe for the drain of the sink and some pipe for the sanitary line. And then of course, a million fittings. So I'm gonna go grab my trailer, grab my excavator, and I'm hopefully gonna be starting this tomorrow. All right, it's the next day, uh, next morning, and I just got here. We're gonna start by cutting up this concrete so we can obviously put that um, sewer line in. And I started hand digging before I came in here. Unfortunately, the sewer line's gonna come out of this corner. It looks like it's gonna line up perfectly with this post holding up the deck. This hole's gonna work though, but I'm gonna try. Alright, so next I'm gonna try to uh, drill through this block. The center of the pipe's got to be right here, so I'm actually probably going to knock out a little bit of this bottom block just so I can get access to here. Got it out. Got through both. Players, and you can kind of see. Oh, yeah, you can see it there right in there. I just scooped some of that out there, hoping we can just shove the pipe down there and glue that 90. Now, I'm gonna go down to the basement um, and drill the hole that needs to come out of here. All 
right, so now I gotta drill the water line and the sink drain holes. Um, the water line's gonna be three quarter inch, so I'm gonna drill, you know, inch, inch and a half hole, and then the sink's gonna be an inch and a half, so I gotta drill like a two inch bit, uh, or two inch hole. Done. I'm gonna do the drain. All right, I got those bolts drilled, water drain, toilet. Just went out there and knocked the block out for the sink drain. Now we're gonna start laying more pipe. All right, we wrapped up the uh, sewer line yesterday. It's the next day. Uh, I'm gonna be doing the water line. First thing I wanna do is get rid of all this sod. Just because when we were, you know, packing up the sewer line back on, there's just so much grass and stuff. It's so squishy. I just wanna get this out of the way so when I dig the dirt, I'm not um, mixing the sod in with the fill that we're gonna be putting back in here when we're back filling. So I'm gonna scrape all this off probably with the skid steer and then, uh, get to digging for this water line. We got the water line hole drilled, and uh, he's gonna feed it down here right now. We're gonna start running it through this muck. And that comes a bank. Oh, that was, that was good. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking. I'm going to bury Chris alive. Jeez. <laughs> oh my God. Damn, it's going down my back. <laughs>
We're just wrapping up outside. Came down here, throw, did some spray foam on there. This is the sewer line coming in. This is how we made it up to the old connection here. And then here's our water line coming up. Just gotta connect that to, I'm um, actually gonna do uh, like a T with another shutoff so I can blow a line out if I ever wanna winterize that garage. And then uh, we should be good. Yeah, now uh, just gonna go back out in the garage and uh, do the spigot and shut off out there and then uh, and obviously frame out the bathroom. But we're getting there, it's a lot of work though. So here's the water line inside the garage. We got our shut off. This line that I capped is gonna be going to the toilet. Um, that's gonna be going up to the sink. And then we have this running over here to a spigot. Just turn the water on, everything's good. No leaks. Got this um, pre-flat. All right, now I guess it's time to frame in the bathroom and get some sheet rock up on the walls. All right, so bathroom is pretty much complete. It's all painted. I can finally say, I think <laughs> this project is over. It was uh, a lot more work than I thought it was gonna be, but that's usually how every project goes. Um, I got it all painted inside and out. Toilet's here and working. Just got my light hooked up. Um, the sink's over here. I haven't hooked up the drain or mounted it yet because I think I'm gonna do some like uh, stainless steel metal around here on the wall. So when it splashes up when you use it, um, but really, that's it. I just gotta hook the uh, drain line up, and yeah. I'm really happy with how it came out. Again, it was a lot bigger project than I thought, but uh, it's gonna make this garage 10 times better. Looking forward to using it this winter. As always, thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. The next thing I'm gonna be doing is finally prepping and painting the lifts, and then getting them in here and uh, mounted in this like second bay over um if you do enjoy watching projects car stuff i promise the car content is going to be coming i'm just still in the process of setting up this garage so stay tuned thanks again